and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the Walrus Audio Aegis 5 State Overdrive in this episode of Scope Talk. I will give you a quick overview of the pedal, then we're going in depth into diode clipping. And at the end, I'm going to show you a secret feature of this beautiful pedal. Let's start with a quick overview. The Aegis is a 5 state overdrive, uses LED and silicon diodes and symmetrical hard and soft clipping. And therefore, it's super versatile. Controls. We have the usual suspects like volume gain and treble. Then we have a bass cut or boost, which is pre-drive. And a dry control to add a little bit of clean signal. And of course, the mode switch, which selects the five diode clipping states. Here you can see the five modes and their description. But I'm not going to talk about this in detail right now. Now I'm going to tell you what diode clipping actually means and what it does to the signal, much more so than a pure technical description. A diode is more or less half a transistor. It doesn't give you any amplification like a transistor would, but it adds compression and distortion when you hit it with a pre-amplified signal. Therefore, it's very good for sound shaping. Aegis uses LED and silicon diodes, of which each gives you a different flavor, so to say. Okay, let's look at the diode's tonal characteristics. Silicon diodes are darker and more compressed sounding because they have a lower clipping threshold and the LEDs have a brighter and punchier sound due to a higher clipping threshold. Here you can see the differences between soft clipping and hard clipping. The soft clipping waveform looks more rounder and more like the original signal while the hard clipping looks less round and much more rectangular and distorted. So what is symmetrical clipping? It means that the signal is affected the same way on the positive and negative side of the signal. Now I'm going to show you in contrast what an unsymmetrical signal could look like, but this is not used in the ages. As you can see, the positive and negative side of the clipped signal look different. So it's not affected in the same way. And that's basically unsymmetrical clipping. And it sounds a little bit different to the symmetrical clipping I would say it sounds a little bit rougher, but as I said, it's not used in the ages. Now we're going to take a look at the secret feature, which is hidden inside the pedal. In order to get access to this feature, turn the pedal around, unscrew the back plate. As you can see at the top of the pedal, close to the I.O. jacks, there's a little potentiometer. And this pot is a presence control. It's set to dark by default, but if you need some extra brightness, just turn it up a little bit. This wraps up today's episode of Scope Talk. Thanks everyone, have a nice day and if you have any questions just get in touch with me.